So, Stephen, I, no. So, Stephen, here's what I'm dealing with. Last week, I saw a patient, and after we talked about everything, the risks, the benefits, how the balloon works, and like all the expected weight loss, the complications, she was very convinced, and she was excited about getting the balloon. Today, she calls the office, and she asks to speak with me, and she says that, uh, wait, wait, my friend had the balloon placed before somewhere else, not here, and the results were very disappointing. And she said, why should I get the balloon? Why should I trust the stuff that you told me? Do we do things in a different way? Is that why our results are different? So, Tarek, uh, the balloon that we use is the same balloon that everybody uses. The technique for placement is the same that everybody uses. What was it that we do differently? Because we get really good results in most of our patients. What we do differently is we support the patient okay a patient should never judge her response to the balloon based on the response of her friend or the person that had the balloon done before her or after her every person is different every person tolerates the balloon differently so that's the first aspect the second aspect we are big believers in supporting our patients with nutritional counseling and that means that we tell the patients what they should be eating and uh, what they should be eating is healthy. And number two, we tell them what kind of portions they should be eating. I believe that the nutritional counseling, the aggressive nutritional counseling that we provide is a vital part of the success of our program. And perhaps other people don't do that. Uh, and I think that it is this combination is important to understand. In addition, if a certain patient for whatever reason is not responding as optimally as we would like, we can also support them with medications. So for example, most of the weight loss with the balloon takes place in the first two, two and a half months. Uh, and after that, I always like to assess and to talk it over with the patient. Is the weight loss that you have obtained with the balloon sufficient? Was it disappointing? If it was disappointing, if it was insufficient, at that point, that would be a great time to add a weight loss medication. And what we've seen when we do that is that the weight loss is enhanced significantly. So by the time we remove the balloon at the six month mark, the weight loss is very satisfactory and it is very um, uh, satisfying to the patient. Uh, the other thing that we do differently, I think I'm a big believer that once we take the balloon out, uh, it is important to support the patient with both nutritional counseling and with medications to make sure that they don't regain the weight. That's what we do differently. So the balloon is the same, the technique of placement is the same, anesthesia is the same, but the heart and soul that we put into our patients the nutritional counseling, the medications, listening to our patients' individual demands, that's important. The other thing that I would say is, and the last thing I wanna say is that some patients have the balloon done and unfortunately they don't follow up. And then they get really disappointed when uh, they don't do well. Uh, I think that the effort has to be put forward both by the physician, that's us, and by the patient. It is a marriage, it is a relationship. We have to be brutally honest with each other. Otherwise, this absolutely will not work. So that's what we do differently. And that's why I think that with most patients, we have really good success. Okay, this patient now better get a procedure done, seriously, after that little speech. How was that? It was great. Good.